Hi guys, if you're getting any of these lights on your BM, stay tuned. I'm going to show you what's going on, what's the most probable cause and how to go about fixing it. So on this vehicle, when you're driving and taking left turns and sometimes even on a straight, the traction control kicks in just like this. Now, this is just telling me that there might be something on the right hand side. And also when you, when this is happening and you put the accelerator down, it doesn't do anything and it cuts power to the engine. Now later on this vehicle, it started flashing the ABS light as well as the tire monitor malfunction light as well. You don't have to do this bit, but I have plugged in a diagnostic only to make it easier to identify which wheel and to explain what is going on. Now take a look at the rear right wheel speed sensor. You can see that it's fluctuating, which is activating the traction control because this wheel is supposedly going faster than the rest. Now the easiest way to stop losing power is to restrict the traction control by pressing the DTC button. Now, this should restrict it enough to allow you to drive. Now, if that doesn't work, you need to turn off traction control completely. Now, you can do this by pressing and holding the DTC button. Now, word of warning, I do not recommend this at all, as you will have no protection from the system if you lose control of the vehicle. So, safety first. At some point, you may need to release the handbrake, so make sure you have wheel chucks or something similar to stop it from rolling. Now let's get the wheel off. After you've got the wheel off, um, the sensor, you should be able to locate it and it's just behind the hub at the back over here. Now in order to get this off, you're going to need a 5mm hex. Once you've got the bolt out, the sensor might be jammed in there. So get a screwdriver and wedge it where the bolt was and you want to just lightly tap it with a hammer. Now make sure you don't do it on the right hand side because that's where the magnetic sensor is and you can end up damaging it. So do it until it just pops out a little bit and then you can wedge your screwdriver in and leverage it against the hub and it should just pop out. Now let's take a look at the sensor. Now as you can see, it's badly scored and there is a little bit of damage on there as well. So something inside is clearly rubbing up against it. So if not now, probably later, it will need replacing as well. Now this next bit you can skip and go to the point where I installed the washer as I'm going to now just explain what's going on inside and just show you and clean up a little bit just so that this little fix lasts a bit longer. Now I've taken the handbrake off and I'm going to now use the bolt and the wrench as leverage to rotate the hub. Now you can see inside there is a ring. Now this is known as the reluctor ring and what is happening there is that as over time it started to corrode and now the ring is beginning to swell up. Now, it is now hitting the sensor. Now, you can even see some of the material has come off of the sensor and is now on the ring. Now take a look at the screwdriver. Now this is supposed to be flush to the ring. Now see as I'm rotating it, see how the screwdriver is moving in and out, which is showing that the ring is not corroding evenly and there's, it's, the ring is not symmetrical anymore, which is probably why you sometimes get the traction control and sometimes you don't. Now I'm going to put a washer in there, which is one millimeter thick and seven millimeters in diameter. Now you need to put this between the hub and the wheel speed sensor, which will be just enough distance for it to stop hitting the sensor. Now let's get the wheel back on and we'll take it for a test drive and see if it's made any difference. 
So for reference, I'm just going to put up the wheel speed sensor data readings from this drive to see how it compares against the data that we had from before. Now, straight away we can see that it's made a big difference because this car, even on a straight, was beginning to flash up the traction control light. So there is a left turn coming up and this should really tell us if all the work we've done has made any difference at all. So that's promising. Uh, the left turn hasn't caused the traction control to go off. To be honest with you, I don't know how long this fix will last. Uh, chances are that we'll need to revisit this issue again in about six to eight months time, simply given the fact that we haven't actually gotten rid of the corroded ring. So the permanent fix for this would be to get the drive shaft off and take the ring off, clean up the area, uh, get rid of all the corrosion and get a new ring put back on. Uh, alternatively, you can just buy a brand new drive shaft. Um, perhaps you can get a refurbished one from somewhere and install that and that will do the same job. If you are going to do that, then it's probably a good idea to change the wheel speed sensors at the same time because you don't know the amount of damage that has been caused to it by now. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them as soon as I can.